It is with all this that I express to you my pain. When I witness passive Muslims and Muslim communities, instead of active and proactive Muslims and Muslim communities. When I witness communities upon the paradigm of entitlement and everything being done for me. When I witness communities that ask, what can the government do for me? Instead of asking what I can do for my community and my country for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The heart pains when I see Muslim communities rich in sectarianism and disunity instead of unity and rich cohesiveness. When I see Muslim communities that treat the rich laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a set of rituals and something confined to the masjid instead of looking at the laws of Allah as a holistic way of life. When I see Muslim communities that lack entrepreneurial prowess, instead of having grand entrepreneurial ability, Wallahi the heart pains of servants of Allah. When I see Muslims rich with the culture of television, instead of the culture of having a vision. When I see Muslim communities that lack a respect and desire for public service, Wallahi the heart pains when I see Muslim communities that are selfish and are all about rights instead of being selfless and all about responsibility. The heart pains when I see Muslim communities void of volunteers, let alone investors. When I see Muslims that are takers instead of givers. The heart pains Wallahi when I see Muslim communities spiraling with increased divorce rates and mediocre and inferior parenting abilities. And in general, my dear brothers and sisters, Muslim communities that are distant from the constitution of success, and that is the Quran and the Sunnah, upon the understanding of the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wallahi, my dear brothers and sisters, indeed the heart cries and the eyes tear. And indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enough for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Wallahi, we need to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are living a result of our choices and decisions. And this living result, Wallahi, pains the hearts. We talk about, you know, being great and being the greatest. You know, Wallahi, we surely used to be the greatest of people. We surely used to be great communities. We used to be great communities. When we were great in our shock and awe because of the lessons of the Quran and Sunnah. That's what motivated us. We weren't amazed by reading a self-development book by some Western author. We read the Quran and Sunnah and the shock and awe that we received woke us up. We were great when this type of shock and awe existed in our lives. Wallahi, we were great when we were people of purpose and belonging and people of understanding. When we never isolated Islam to a set of worship rituals in the masjid. When our marriages, our parenting, our studying, our cooking, our health matters were considered paradise building exercises. Jannah building exercises. Wallahi, we were great communities then. When we looked after the rights of our neighbors. And we attended to the needs of the poor. When we practiced the sunnah because it was a sunnah. And not left the sunnah because it was a sunnah. Are you following me brothers and sisters? We were great communities when we educated our children and not just schooled them. When we raised men and women rich with character who are not just personalities. When we recognized that people learn with their eyes. Thus we walk the talk and we were even more truer to our teachings and values instead of being hypocrites. When we touched the people we met by writing our names in their hearts and not our names on their Facebook pages. When we taught knowledge as a body of experiences rather than a body of information. Wallahi, then we were great people. When we had student-focused curriculums and not curriculum-focused students. When we implemented faith and holistic-based learning systems. When we understood that the future belongs to the one who prepares for it today.
We were great communities then, my dear brothers and sisters. When we believe that success and all of success was in following the Quran and the Sunnah upon the way of the pious predecessors before us. We were great communities then, my dear brothers and sisters. And once again, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah forgive us. Because the Islam the world sees today is the Islam we have portrayed by ourselves. We are the demonstrators of this religion. And we are the products of our decisions. Somewhere along the line we stop living for tomorrow. And thus we have to talk about the building bricks of society today. We have to talk about rituals and rights and responsibilities today. Wallahi, this is, this is a basic matter for a believer. This, this doesn't need a big gathering like this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Ameen. Ameen.